بسم الله والابن والروح القدس الله الواحد In this convention, we will talk about the church in our house. You can see in front of you now that we will meet together five times. If you are talking about the church in our house, you have to talk about the appearance of our houses like the church. And you can talk also about the love in our houses like the church. But this point needs separate convention. For that we can talk in, it, in this convention. The third one, we will talk. Uh, we will talk about unity for two lectures, and about prayers. Then at the end, about the spiritual readings. In this meeting, we will talk about the church in our house and its appearance. From the beginning, we can read in the Bible, in Romans and Ephesians, by St. Paul. He read this Kella and Akella, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who have rescued their own necks for my life to whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Now we are talking about a church in their house. In Colossians, we also greet the brothers who are Laodicea, and the Memphis and the church that is in his house. Now we can ask, what is the meaning of the church that is in the house, especially in their house? When we are talking about the church, in their house, I think it's a big difference between the church in their house and the church in our house, which we will talk about it. The church in their house, during the apostolic era, the church consists of the houses of the believers, where they would congregate to pray. We learned that the first church took place in the house of Mary, the mother of St. Mark. As mentioned, he came to the house of Saint of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. Acts 12.12. 12. We also read that the believers congregate in the houses of Reskella and Achilla, the house of Memphis, and the house of Lydia the seller of purple. What about you? What, a, what about your house as a church? Of course, you can't build 
a church. Oh, you can't leave your house to be a church. But for what? We are talking about your church at your house. If you can't apply this verse literally, what are you doing in order that this verse be made effective in your life? Once we enter a house, we are able to discern the personalities of those who do well within by the pictures and posters that are hung upon the walls. We are at once made aware of what their religion is, if any, and their hobbies and interests, as well as any personalities such as a sportsman or a musician they feel associated with by, <clears throat> by what they display upon the walls in their houses. Any one of us can understand English to talk in some Arabic? All of you can understand English. Let's go. I can enter any house. I can see that you are Orthodox or not. I can enter the rooms of your kids, maybe they watching soccer. From the walls I can notice. They prefer Ronald Lim, as I said, as I saw today, but not in the wall, but on the t-shirt of a certain girl today. Maybe I can find that they prefer wrestling, uh, Batista, uh, Michaels, uh, many names in Egypt, in Europe, in America, the same. But I want to ask about the church in your house. If I enter your house, can I say that this family in the court of Orthodox family, in everywhere in your house. Can I notice that? I think from this moment, we will, we will change many things in our houses to be Coptic Orthodox houses, especially in its appearance. Who is the church that's in your house? From the beginning, we noticed that the Coptic Church gives much care of icons and pictures as a source of a spiritual benefit in the house rather than for decoration. We can notice many benefits from the pictures or the icons in our churches. At the beginning, the icon in the church symbolizes the heavenly church present with us here on earth. When we enter the church, it's very important to feel that you are not in the, on the earth. You are in the heaven. How can I notice that? How can I feel that? From the beginning, from the pictures or the icons surrounding me in the church. When we see the icons of the Holy, of Holy Saints and Angels, our minds are uplifted and inspired to contemplate and learn from their virtuous lives when we pray. We ask for their help and intercession. For that, the atmosphere great difference between the Apostolic Churches like Catholic Church, Orthodox Church, and in other churches. In the Apostolic Churches you feel that you are in heaven although you are on the earth through the icons surrounded you everywhere. Secondly, the icons are reflection of the message of the Holy Bible. 
post, <coughs> post literate and the literate are able to comprehend its meaning through the language of colors and expression rather than the language of literacy. Who can read? Who can't read? Both of them can know a lot about the Bible through the icons and the church, especially if you know something about the icons, especially the Coptic uh, uh, icons have some symbolic uh, ideas through its colors. Icons, as I said, is, if portrayed accurately, are representation of history. As this, can I say, if I look to a certain picture or icon for the Holy Family, I can say that it's the visit of the Holy Family to Egypt. How can I say that? From the beginning, I can see St. Mary, Jesus the child, and Jesus the carpenter. Because they were very poor family, I can notice horse or donkey. It will be a donkey. And also they are in Egypt for that. It's very important to notice the pyramids as a symbolic thing to Egypt. At the same time, I can see some water symbolic to the river Nile of Egypt. But it's not any water, it is a water of life. For that, in this water I can see four, four fishes. What is the meaning of the four fishes? That is the meaning of the four Gospels in which we can read about it, the Holy Family, about Jesus Christ, about the commandment. For that, through this icon, I can know something about the visiting of the Holy Family to Egypt. That means I can know some of our history through this picture or through this icon. Holy pictures in our homes present the most effective visual aids, for through them, Unity is created between the members of the family and the saint portrayed in the pictures. Hadr Mahadi Ulibas. Arachas al Ultu al Arab. Tabana Kaman, I have the Arab after me. اللي قلناه بالعربي او باختصار بالعربي حاول بقى اعمل يعني خلط بين العربي والانجليزي هنتكلم النهارده عن الكنيسه اللي في بيتك هنبدا النهارده الاول خالص بالكنيسه اللي في بيتك من خلال مظهرها هنبص على الكنيسه وننقل الكلام ده على بيتنا اتفقنا إن الكنيسة القبطية بالذات تهتم قوي بالأيقونات. من خلال الأيقونات جوه الكنيسة رغم إن عايش على الأرض، الكنيسة جزء من الأرض اللي عايشين فيها. إلا أني أشعر إحساس مختلف. أشعر إن أنا في السماء. طب الإحساس إن أنا في السماء ده يجي لي بسرعة منين؟ من الأيقونات اللي محيطة بيا. شايف حواليا السمائيين من ملايكة وقديسين. على طول قلب ومشاعر بترتفع لفوق وانا على الارض اتنقل نقله كبيره جدا واشعر في السماء وابدا اتكلم معاهم رغم ان هم عايشين في السماء وابدا يحس احس بيهم واتشفع بيهم. النقطه الثانيه لاهتمام الكنيسه بالايقونات ان الايقونات عباره عن كتاب مقدس مفتوح اقدر على حقن الكنيسه كلها اشوف الكتاب المقدس اللي بيقرا واللي ما بيقراش يفهم الكتاب المقدس من خلال الالوان اللي موجوده في حوالين الايقونات اللي جوه الكنيسه. مش كده وبس من خلال الايقونات ممكن جدا ان انا اقرا تاريخ الكنيسه من خلال من خلال كل ايقونه والتانيه وجبت مثال 
هيكون بتاع زيارة العائلة المقدسة أول ما أشوف فتاة صغيرة وطفل صغير وواحد مسن وحمار والأهرامات وفرع من المهر صغير كده في أربع سمكات أقول دي زيارة العائلة المقدسة لمصر الفأر الممثل في الحمار الصغير والشيخ الكبير هو يوسف النجار والفتاة الصغيرة هي العذراء مريم وهكذا ومن خلال الأهرامات أقول دي مصر وآدي النيل بس فيه ماء الحياة اللي إشارة الكلام الكتاب المقدس اللي ممكن أشوفه من خلال الأربع بشاير اللي بيرمز إليهم بالأربع سمكات. هنا هتنقل بين الكنيسة بقى اللي بتهتم بالأيقونات أخش على البيت اللي بيهتم بالأيقونات. اسمحوا لي هخليكم تعيدوا الترتيب بتاع بيتكم من جوه والصور تترتب بطريقة نستفيد منها مش مجرد واحد عمال يعلق صورة يمين وصورة شمال والصورة دي ماشية مع لون الفرش اللي على الأرض والصورة دي ماشية مع إن الحيطة بالعرض مش بالطول لا لا إحنا مش عايزين الستات اللي يتحكموا في توزيع الصور وفقا للألوان والتنظيم أنا عايز لا وفقا للاستفادة الروحية هحط الصور وهحط الصلبان وأكتب الآيات وتعالوا نشوف مع بعض جوه البيت يمشي الأمور إزاي Is there a church in your house? I can ask you, which is adorned with the holy pictures. Do these pictures express your Christianity as well as your orthodoxy? For example, do you have a picture of God the Father, whom no one has seen? If I can see. A picture for the father, you are not orthodox. You are not orthodox. The father, nobody seen him. In the bed, from the picture, I come on the orthodox side. So I see a picture with the dad, the son, and the son under it, and I go to the Kudus between them. I tell you, this is not orthodox. You are not orthodox. Do you have pictures of the Last Supper? which is portrayed a table filled with many types of food and Judas being present or the, or the picture simply portrayed with the single bread and the chairs and without Judas being present. حتى الصورة العشاء نوحة ايه في بيتك فيها مليانة اكل كده الترابيزة اللي قدام التلاميذ وفيها يهوذا قاعد يو ار نوت اورثودوكس لقيت يهوذا مش موجود وفي قربانه واحده وكاس واحد يبقى انت اورثودوكس وفاهم الصور اللي بتحطها في بيتك الترابيزه يا اما كان فيها خروف فسح حسب النظام اليهودي يا اما شالوا خروف الفسح وحطوا الكاس والقربانه وده اللي يهمنا كاورثودوكس ويهوذا طبعا ما تناولش طب انت حاطط في بيتك ايه؟ راجع نفسك تاني. Do you display pictures of St. Mary sitting at the right hand of Jesus Christ as mentioned in the psalm? As at your right hand stands the queen in gold from Ophir, زي ما قال في مزمور 45 9. Let us be very careful in choosing the pictures in which we display in our house. My brother, my sister, let us now take a walk through a Christian Orthodox house in order to see what pictures lie within. تعالى نعمل جولة أنا وأنتوا كده في بيت أرثوذكسي نشوف إيه اللي هيبقى موجود فيها عشان نعيد حساباتنا أنا عايزكم تكتبوا من النهاردة شوية نوتس كده إيه اللي هيتغير في بيوتنا أول حاجة ويل هاز تو بي تشينج البيكتشرز في بيوت إنما لسه حاجات كتير قوي وهنقوم منكم مجموعة لو تسمحوا لي في آخر لقاء كل فاميلي تقول لي إيه اللي هتعمله كحياة جديدة 
as a Christian family وإيه اللي هيتغير في بيتنا as a Christian Orthodox house ده هنحطه في الاعتبار في الآخر تعالوا نشوف from, from the beginning upon entering the house we find the picture of the archangel Michael in order that he may guard the house and prevent any evil from entering for it is a church and a place for the Lord's comfort hence the archangel Michael who is the chief of the heavenly hosts God is the door from which the Lord enters to live with the family who dwell in the house هدخل من بره الباب هشوف ايه مين اللي جوه البيت ده في العيلة وسطيها المسيح معقول المسيح هيبقى في البيت من, خ... من غير رئيس الجند السماوي ما يبقى موجود على حراسة البيت اللي جوه المسيح لازم أشعر وأنا داخل البيت إن بيتي ده محروس برئيس الملائكة الخير شيء يديني عذاب مش ممكن أي شر أو شرير هيقدر يدخل البيت ده طالما البيت ده عليه من بره كده رئيس الملائكة الخير بالصورة بتاعته المشهورة الحربة كده موجود على البيت يبقى الانترنت بتاع البيت عليه صورة رئيس الملائكة المخيل حد فينا عنده على مدخل بيته صورة رئيس الملائكة يا أبهات جهزوا مكتباتكم شوية صور عشان تحبيها صور من الوقت التركيب ماذا بعد؟ in the entrance or foyer of the house we may find the picture of our Lord Jesus Christ stretching out his arms as if calling out to us come to me all of you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest as mentioned in Matthew 11 28 hence the Lord is inviting all who enter the house to cast their burdens and temptation and the problems upon him and to embrace him and to find peace. منظر لطيف كده او مدخل سورة المسيح فتح لي ايده كده. انت تعبان؟ تعالوا الي يا جميع المتعبين وثقي لي الاحمال وانا اريحكم. انت داخل قرفان زهقان تعبان من فضلك ما تخشش بقرفك ولا بزهقك ولا بمضايقاتك على البيت ذنبهم ايه في اللي فاتح لك احضانك احضان وبصوا كده فوق وارمى عليه متعبك اطلب منه سلام وبالسلام اللي قال لي عليه سلامي انا اعطيكم او سلامي اترك لكم سلامي أنا أعطيكم تاخد من سلامه ومن أحضان المفتوحة وتبدأ تدخل على البيت اللي قدامك صورة معزية لها معنى مش مجرد إن أنا برصص صور وبس طيب تعال نشوف و might also find a picture of the holy families flight into Egypt in which was bestowed great blessing upon the land of Egypt. In having such a picture at the entrance, I can imagine Christ entering into this house with his mother and uses the carpenter and destroying upon it and those who dwell within the same blessing he gave to Egypt, whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed is Egypt, my people. أول ما أشوف الصورة دي أقول لا ده المسيح ما دخلش بيت ما دخلش مصر وبس ده دخل بيتي وموجود هو والعيلة المقدسة في بيتي أشعر بسلام خالص أما أقول مبارك شعبي مصر وأنا منهم أبقى سعيد جدا. Let us enter our houses full of peace awaiting the blessing of our Lord and Master Jesus Christ. Then we will go to the living room. We may 
find a picture of our Lord preaching to the multitude on the mount. When we see this picture, we will remember Christ's words and so control ourselves so that our lives reflect his teachings. The family may even know this room as the place where they meet as a family for or with the guests to talk about the Lord's commandments. The surah that is present in the Quran, the Messiah is present on the Quran, and the people who are present on the Quran, we think about the other one, يا ترى احنا لنا علاقة مع ربنا ونسمع له ونقرأ له ولو دخل ضيف والصورة دي موجودة يا ترى احنا فعلا بنعمل كده بنسمع كلمة ربنا في وجود الضيف كان عندنا تقليد زمان اي رمبر بعض المصريين عندهم very bad habits يقدموا maybe some drinks but the bad habits to give them cigarettes. يبقى الراجل واقف بيشرب سجاير يدي الناس سجاير. In Egypt, 50 years ago, most of the families had had a box of cigarettes. But it was spiritual, biblical cigarettes. Spiritual, biblical cigarettes. بالظبط عبارة عن ورقة صغيرة في a verse from the Bible. Every paper has a verse from the Bible. The books full of this verse. And if any people visit in us, he has to choose a piece of paper and open it and read the verse and say some few words about this verse. It is a biblical meeting. It is a spiritual making. They are cigarettes without smoking, but with spiritual readings. طريقة لطيفة. تخيل معي المنظر ده وهو موجود الصورة دي على الحيطة والصندوق اللي فيه الآيات الكتاب المقدس ملفوفة دي كل واحد يقعد يطلع الورقة من دول يفتحها ويقرأ الآية ويقول تأمل صغير على الآية. حياة مسيحية في ويبقى قدام بدل ما بيجيب سيرة الناس أول ما يخش يقول لنا آية وإحنا كل واحد فينا يقول آية. What about the kitchen? What about Barsa? Can you find pictures in the kitchens? Yes. We may find the picture of the Lord feeding the multitudes with five loaves and two fishes. When seeing this picture, we remember the great blessing of the Lord that doesn't weary with increase. While he's preparing the meal, let the parent, I am saying the parent. I didn't say the mother. I didn't say the wife. I am saying the parent because they are helping each other in everything. لسه الدور جاي يعني الايام جاي بس ما تسعلوش عليا. Let the parent remember that Jesus first spoke to the multitude about the kingdom of heaven before feeding them. Hence, he provided them with spiritual nourishment before giving them bodily nourishment. You must ask yourself, especially mom, what is spiritual nourishment? Have I given my children? Or do you only give concern to their bodily nourishment? Do you spend time reading the Bible and learning from it in order that you may prepare a daily spiritual meal for your children in the same way that you spend time preparing body food? هنلاقي صورتين مهمين جدا حاطينهم لمرسى. الصورة الأولى خاصة بالعيلة بتاعتها. والصورة الثانية بعد شوية خاصة بيها هي. الصورة الأولى للمنفعة الروحية لبيتها. 
والسوره الثانيه اللي هنشوفها بعد شويه لمنفعتها هي. في السوره الاولانيه بنحط في السوره كده سوره رب المجد يسوع وهو قدامه الخمس خدزات والسنتين وبيبارك ويكسر ويدي التلاميذ ويدي الجموع وبنسال كل ام قبل ما الرب يسوع اداهم اشباع الجسد يا ترى اداهم حاجه اكثر اهميه؟ اه كلمهم الاول عن ملكوت الله. طب انت يا ماما انت يا بابا اذا كنت بتساعد ماما كل اهتماماتك وبعيالكم هي بس غذاء الجسد ولا اهتمامات بالاهم وبالاولى وقبل اهتمامات الجسد بغذاء الروح؟ زي ماما مهتمه هي كده بالوجبه متكامله فيها الفيتامينز وفيها البروتين وفيها 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 هل بتهتم ايضا لانها تديهم السبريتشوال ميل اتليست وانس اباي للفاميلي ولا لا؟ الصوره دي تفكر ماما بدورها الروحي طب وهي وحياتها الروحيه هو تباوت هير سبريتشوال لايف هو تباوت هير سالفيشن We can find another picture for that. In addition, we might find in the kitchen also a picture of our Lord Jesus Christ in the house of Mary and Martha. Who, in seeing this picture, will remember Jesus' words to Martha. Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from us. In my manner, the parent must realize that before doing anything else, they must first deepen the relationship with God and sit at his feet, just as Mary did. Therefore, it is important for the bearer to be the companion of both Mary and Matthew. يبقى الصورة الأولانية اللي حطيناها رب المجد اللي يطرم الجموع بنفكر الأم والأب أو الأم بالأكثر من فضلك. من فضلك. ما تنسيش إنك اهتمامات روحية بأولادك مش بس الجسدية. وفي نفس الوقت بنحط لها زيارة رب المجد يسوع لبيت مريم ومرثا وبيقول لمرثا كده مرثا مرثا انت تهتمين وتضطربين لاجل امور كثيره ولكن الحاجه الى واحد مريم اخترت النصيب الصالح اللي ما حدش هيقدر ينزعه منها طب وماما لا مش مسؤول عن الطبخ طب يا ترى ماما تبقى مرثا ولا تبقى مريم تبقى الكومبينيشن ده من مريم ومرسى في وسط مسؤولياتها تجاه ولادها ما تنساش مسؤولياتها تجاه خلاص نفسها عشان كده زوجها لازم يساعدها يشيل عنها شويه عشان يديها الوقت اللي تقدر تقرا وتقدر تصلي وتقدر تهتم بخلاص نفسها. اذا يا احبائي في ذا بيجينينج وي سي ذا بيكشر اوف سان اوف ارش انجل مايكل وبعدين شفنا صوره يسوع المسيح ستريتشنج هيز ارمز اللي انت عامله ده يا جماعه المتعبين في المدخل وبعدين شفنا في الليفينج روم صوره المسيح والموعظه على الجبل وبعدين دخلنا المطبخ وشفنا صورتين في المطبخ صوره منهم والمسيح بيبارك الخمس خبزات والسبتين ويد الجموع والصوره الثانيه رب المجد يسوع بيزور العائله اسف بيزور بيت مريم ومرسى وبنفكر كل ام بمرث بمريم عشان ما تنساش نفسها وتتحول فقط الى مرسل مهتميه بالغير مش مهتميه بخلاص نفسها. Now the food was prepared. It is ready for eating. هنروح على ايه؟ الدايننج روم. نشوف الدايننج روم. Instead of the of decoration, the dining room with portraits of fruits. Flowers. Let your Christian dining room be adorned with the picture of the Last Supper. For him, it is portrayed our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the bread of our life. 
As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so you who feeds on me will live because of me. Who will live to this picture? We may be reminded that we are neglecting Holy Communion and we are not seeing that Judas is not present in the Last Supper. We are reminded of our sins and how they prevent us from receiving the sacraments and having a share in the inheritance with the saints. While we eat, we see this picture and so our hairs partake of the fruit of the spirits. أحسن لما أحط صورة ورد وصورة طبق فاكهة كده في ال dining room أحط صورة المسيح وهو بيأخد من الخبز ويأخذ كله هذا وجسدي وبيأخد من الكأس ويأخذ يشرب هذا دمي ويقول لنا كده من يأكلني يحيا بيا نبص على الصورة نفتكر آخر مرة نقولنا أنت نبص على الصورة نلاقي هوزة مش موجود إلا منع من الصورة الخطية بتاعته طب أنا خطيتنا ممكن تمنعني من السماء أنا خطيتي ممكن تمنعني من التناول أفتكر أمور روحية وأنا قاعد باكل في الدايننج روم طالما وجدت هذه الصورة أولا تانية The Cabels Bedroom قلت إنه ممكن يبقى فيها صور Why not? We may find a picture of our Lord Jesus Christ pressing the wedding in Cana of Galilee. Likewise, the Lord will bless this room so that the couple feel his presence and him blessing their thoughts and binding them in love. شوف المنظر ده رب المجد حاطط إيده على روسين بتوعه كان جليل أشعر في بركة خاصة في الأوضة ومع الصورة اللي موجودة دي ما أقدرش على الحيطة التانية أبقى شايف تلفزيون ممكن عليه تشانلز أو كمبيوتر عليه سايتس تجيب لي حاجات مش كويسة أظن ما ينفعش It is a blessed room it is a room having with us Jesus Christ all the time. We are in need for His blessing to unite us, to be one in Him. عشان كده أرض أرض النوم مفروض يبقى فيها صورة المسيح تتناسب مع هذا الجو. The most important room to be decorated by Christian pictures in the room of the children, in the children's room. Usually we, we would find a child's room containing pictures of Mickey Mouse uh, and some animals, birds, many things. But within a Christian house, we would find the picture of the guardian angel above the child's bed. And on another wall, a picture of Jesus Christ lovingly embracing the children surrounding him, saying, Let the little children come to me and don't forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. For us, the first time, the first time, the first time, the first time, الصور الجميلة بتاع يسوع المسيح اللي لانه من الأطفال حواليه ويريد من بدل كده صورة السيد المسيح اللي قدامه تبقى صورة بدأت مش صورة خواجات يعني من فضلوكو يعني صورة بدأت الطفل وعنده كم شهر شايف يسوع بدأت هيشوف أبونا في الكنيسة هيقول يسوع قبل ما يقول أبونا هيحب أبونا لأنه شافه في البيت على هيئة يسوع اللي حواليه أطفال من الصغر فخلي بالكم الحكاية دي ما ننساش 
ان احنا برضو بنعمل حاجات تربط ولادنا بالكنيسه بطرق مباشره وطرق غير مباشره. طيب. We may also decorate the children's room with pictures of baby Jesus in the manger and young saints such as Saint Abanu. And this way our children will always feel their close association with Jesus Christ and his saints from their childhood years. أعتقد الطفل اللي هيتعود على الصور المسيحية في أوضته من صوره is very hard to him to change the Christian and the spiritual pictures by pictures of singers or something like that صعب قوي الولد يشوف صورة المسيح لما يكبر يبقى عنده 10 سنين ويحط له صورة مغني أو يحط له صورة ممثل ولا ممثلة صعبة جدا انما لو كانت صورته من الاول فيها ميكي ماوس سهل قوي يشيل ميكي ماوس ويحط البريد بتاعه الفنان اللي بيحبه انا لست ضد الواد يحط لاعب كوره ولا يحط حاجه خاصه بالسبورتس انما لازم يبقى في صور مسيحيه موجوده تمنعني يحط حاجه مش مظبوطه. Not only is a Christian house to be decorated with the holy pictures, but also crosses that may come in various designs for those who are nature lovers. They may even choose natural pictures which may inspire them to spiritual contemplation. هنحط السربان بكل الاشكال والالوان وهحس كده ان السربان ابطيه لو قدرت مش ابطال انما الناس اللي غريبين فن هل كل صور مسيحيه بس؟ واحد عاوز يحط حاجه من الطبيعه كده عاوز يحط يعني سان بلانتس كده نباتات ميه ممكن يبقى الصور برضو اللي فيها النباتات والميه كريستيان بيكتشرز اه انا عايز تبقى كريستيان بيكتشرز طب كريستيان بيكتشرز مينز هاف جيسس كرايست سانت ميري نو 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 ادول كلها نباتات كلها شجر كلها زارع بس هتبقى كريستيان بيكتشرز تعال نشوف رايشس شال فلاريش لايك ابالم تري هي شال برو لايك اسيدر ان ليبنون ايه الحكايه الصديق كان نخلة يا زهير رأيكم في الآية دي؟ طب أنا هجيب صورة كلها نخل وأحط تحتها الآية دي الصديق كان نخلة يا أنت مصري أكيد مصر مليانة نخل إيجيبت فول أوف بالم تريز هديك بيكتشر هاف بالم تريز بس هاف ذا سيم فيرس أباوت ذا بالمز إن ذيس واي ذي ماي أو ريليت For example, a picture of the palm tree, which is visible to its supporting roots, which are not visible in like manner God is not visible, supports, feeds, and strengthens humankind, who are visible, making them greater than all creation. In addition, the inside of the palm trees is white, which supplies the purity of the righteous person's heart. Don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with God. تفتكروا النخلة المشهورة هتحدفها بالطوب هتبحط لك بدح نفكر ابننا بدي. And the same way that the palm tree releases its fruits when it's shaken or rocks thrown at it. So, to does the righteous person release prayers for those who deal cruelly with him in the same way that Saint Stephen prayed for those stoning him and he knelt down and he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, don't charge them with this sin. There might even be a picture of stars. يعني الولاد ما بقى احط له صورة لطيفة كده حاجة فيها الجالاكسي ولا فيها اه شمس ونجوم حاجة من السماء منظر لطيف كده. At the same time 
this picture, for example, allowing the opportunity for meditating on the words of David, the, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the fair man shows his hand work. Another picture. أقدر أشوف صورة كده لشجر أخضر fruitful trees جنبها كده مية والشجر اللي مليان ثمار كده جنب المية أحط بس كم فيرس تحتها من إيه؟ حد عارف؟ The first of songs طوبى للرجل الذي لم يسلك في مشورة الأشرار وفي طريق الخطاه لم يقف وفي مجلس المستهزئين لم يجلس لكن في ناموس الرب ارادته وفي ناموسه يلهج نهارا وليلا فيكون كالشجره المغروسه التي تعطي ورقها لا يزبل مش عامل زي الشجر بتاعك اللي بيوقع شجر ورق ولا لا تلاقي كلها ورقها وتلاقيها مليانه فروتس لان هي مزروعه على المجاري المياه My dear brother, sister, when a person visits your, your house, do they find a church within your house? Are there spiritual pictures from which the family members may be benefit? That is your church house, or the church in your house, through its appearance. Ya Tara, إلى باقي الكهنة بعد شهر كده لو زاروكوا في بيوتكوا هيلاقوا بيوتكوا زي الكنيسة مليانة بالصور والصور مترتبة لأجل منفعة روحية ولا هيلاقوا الحكاية كده مترتبة بلا ترتيب والصور اللي بنلاقيها ونحطها أو الصور اللي تناسب الألوان بتاع الفرش والأرضية بنحطها لا هنحط الصور بطريقه مسيحيه تدينا المنفعه المسيحيه بشكل مسيحي روحي تفكرنا بالتناول تفكرنا بالصلاه تفكرنا بالموعظه على الجبل تفكرنا بحياه القديسين يبقى ده بيتنا اللي مليان صور مسيحيه هكتفي بهذا القدر النهارده يعني بس ايه فاتح شهيه يعني زي ما انتم بتقولوا لموضوعاتنا اللي هتيجي بدءا من بكره. أي أسئلة المجال مفتوح. وأنا أقول لك شيء في الكويتش لكن في العربي كان في الإنجليش في العربي كان يستطيع القديسين سماع طلبات وتشفعات الكثيرين في وقت واحد أما الله يعطيهم قدرات خاصة. In English If the sound had the ability to hear several people at the same time, or God give them a special ability. Of course, we can ask the sounds at the same time in many places for many hundreds of thousands at the same moment. Of course, any sound is one person. But you can know that a lot of angels everywhere can take our prayers from here to the heaven. Through the sands can go to our Lord. It's very easy. If the topic here is the topic of the angels, it's the topic of the angels from here to the angels. Especially the saints are, they are here on the earth or in the paradise. For sure they are in the paradise. How they, they are hearing us? Through the angels. They can know everything and through the angels they can know what we are asking about and as, at that moment from the angels, they can ask our Lord. So, I'll tell you, one person 
Dear Amagona, we need your help. He is a man. I am one of many hesitated to attend this convention. Why? Because we feel that your grace always take the woman's side. <laughs> Makes our wives more uh, stubborn and hard-headed. Please, help us and support us against our wives. Like again in this wave of feminism in this country, which corrupted the mind of our wives, and even against the Bible teaching about the role of the husband to be my dear. You are correct. Sometimes I have to be a silent. I have to support the woman. Sometimes. Frankly, I can't say. There is a big, very big problem in this era, in this time. The woman, it changed a lot. The equality, equality between women and the men became more than before. Most of the women studied the same level. Most of the women have jobs like the men. She is helping him outside the house. But up to now, he is looking for his grandfather, grandmother. The house for the women, outside the house for the men. But she is helping you outside the house for that. You have to share with her at home. She can do everything at home and the many things outside the home. She can't. At the same time, because the women have job, can I ask you, what about her relationship and her job with the men? Usually, the men is talking very well to the women everywhere. Usually they hear very nice words at the street, at, at the work, anywhere except at home. At the same time, she can see you dealing with the women at the chairs in a very nice way. He can say nice words for everyone. But why he didn't say that at home to me? It is a big problem. That's mean. I have to ask you then her. At the same time, usually I'll ask her to deal with you at the head of this family, to obey you in everything, to obey you as obeying the God himself. But I can't begin with this. I begin usually with talking with you, how to deal with her. Then, in a few words, I will ask her. I tell you something. The woman is very sensitive for that. You can't go to her brain without going through her heart. For that, usually I try to go to her heart first, then by few words, I can give her many advices and she will obey. At the end, she will obey me. At the end, 
ثرو مي شو فيو عشان كده حبيبي الموضوع بسيط ما تاخدوش بحساسيه الست لها اسلوب خاص في التعامل ادخل قلبها عشان تدخل عقلها واذا دخلت عقلها هتقدر تغير منها I disagree for any woman to call the police. I want to ask the woman here in America. Did you call the police in Egypt before? Did your mother call the police for your father in Egypt? No, it didn't happen at all. For that, don't do that. It is a very, very harm. Hard, <coughs> hard for for the men, especially the Egyptian men. You can call the church, the servants, the priests. You can deal with your friends, especially one like your mom, to ask her to help you. واحد تاني بيسأل بيقول it seems that the result of some recent divorces were very small issues that escalated over time until they became big issues that were too difficult to overcome. I feel blessed that I have good marriage, but is there a way to do a self-checkup with your spouse to ensure that small issues don't escalate into big. The problem in our families, the, the, big, the biggest problem, how to communicate. How to communicate. You have to practice communication from the first day. You have to talk with the partner and how to hear them. I think uh, it's very important in a certain convention to do it, to do it, <coughs> to do for many lectures about communication. Please talk with each other. Don't keep anything inside you without talking. Ask in anything, but choose the suitable time, the suitable atmosphere to do. الكتاب يقول لا تغرب الشمس على غيظكم ما نامش وانا زعلان واحد بعد بالعربي بيقول اعمل ايه واحدة اعمل ايه اذا كان زوجي دايما بيفهمني غلط كل مرة نتكلم فيها يفهمني غلط مش عارفة اتفاهم معاه هل اسكت لأن هي دي الطريقة اللي بتنفع معاها؟ نو. No. She is written here that her husband can't understand her. Usually he can't understand her. Try. Try to choose that suitable time. Try to tell him. If you, he can't hear you can write to him, but please, don't try anything while you are angry. Control yourself at first, pray at first, then try to write. Maybe writing and reading may help you, especially if you are not in front of you. My wife is hurt, hurt it. Never ask me how I feel if I am sick. Never check on the difficulties. Sometimes I have at work. She doesn't care about our finance as long as I am taking care of everything. She, al she always say, my salary is my money. I need some work feelings for me and the children.
I'll talk about the money maybe tomorrow. Yes, it will be tomorrow. We will talk a lot about the money, but about the feelings. What is the meaning of love? Love means caring. Love means asking about your partner. I remember once I was was one of our priests in my diocese visiting a doctor in his clinic in Egypt. This priest was having a tumor in his brain. The doctor took the case very seriously and took a long time for a bone and tried to write a certain He wrote everything about the case to send it to Germany about Abuna. We spent with him at least two hours and a half. That day was their day of marriage. They have to eat together in a certain place. But he spent the time of his wife with us. And after that, he has to go to the hospital for a certain operation in a brain. But what happened? He took the phone and he called his wife. I can't say how many words about loving, he said, my love, my love, my love, between word love love, there is another word of love. At the end, he said to her, I can't come, I can't go with you today, because I have a bona with me. Uh, take the blessing of a bona, take the blessing of Sayyidina, give her, me the telephone. And I told her, I am very sorry, because you, thought you have taken your time, especially in this day. No, no, it was very easily. Why? Because the words of love, the words of feelings, the words of feeling were enough more than to eat with her. عشان كده المشاعر الأحاسيس الكلام الحلو نتعلم نقوله مطلوب نقوله وخاصة من الزوجة ما تبقاش هي اللي جامدة وجوزها هو اللي مش نجاس. ولا أجيالي من طنطا إيه اللي عرفهم الصيد بتاعتكم الورقة اللي جيالي من طنطا بتقول إحنا مستنيانك في طنطا حاضر قلتهم أنا جايلكم وحب عندكم يوم التلات دي بعض الأسئلة اللي جات على الإيميل الناس بعتين ورقة بتقول بليز عايزين نتكلم انجليزي يعني انا المحاضره كانت كلها بالانجليش بس كنت يعني كنت اي تراي تو سامرايز سام ان عربيك اي كان توك تو ذا اند ان انجليش اند ذا اند اي كان تيك فيو مومنتس تو سامرايز وات اي سيد ان عربيك ات ويل بي ايزير فور ذا انجليش واحد بيسالني what is your opinion about icons in the bathrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a bathroom, yeah. I'll tell you, there's no problem. Put any hair in any hat, I'll tell you. And with that, yeah, it's very important to put the icons everywhere except because I can't find a suitable icon for this place. That's me. It, he is very serious in changing his house and putting the icons everywhere. 
متهيألي نكتفي بهذا القدر حسب الأسئلة اللي موجودة حد بعت لي تو اسك ذا بيس اند ذا سيرفنتس ذي اسكينج اباوت ذا ايكونز اند ذا بيكتشرز سبيريتشوال بيكتشرز اند كريستيان بيكتشرز تو بي ان ذا بوك شوبس اند ذا تشيرشز اي تولد سم اوف اور بيبول ان نيو جيرسي ذات اي تراي Uh, to make some pictures, spiritual pictures and Christian pictures, like the Palmetis, as I said, and another pictures, and to print it, and I send for everyone attended today, many of them. يعني أنا عليا أبعد لبو والمو عصور من أنا قلتهم دول حبهم في طنطا ونبعتهم للناس اللي هم بيديروا الكونفينشن يا رب بسرعة. اعمل شويه الصور دي وجمرك وتحطه في البيت اتفقنا على صوره ايه العشاء ذا لاست سفر ذا بارت ماتريس يو كان فايند ارش انجل مايكل انا واير بات يو واير نوت اي كان بريبير اوكي اوكي ميري اند مارثا ميري اند مارثا مال يس ميري اند مارثا يس ذا ويدنج يا اوكي اي بريبير ات اي بريبير فايف سكس سبن كده من الصور المتعددة ونحاول نطبعها بمقاس مناسب ونبعتها للكونفنشن دكتور إكرام دور تبعتهم هدية للناس اللي أتندت النهاردة أنا هبعت لك الصور وأنت تشوف إزاي تقوم يعني تبعتهم لهم فيما بعد أي تبعات تتفضلوا عشان وقت إحنا كده أنا بعتذر أخدتهم شوية